Ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please. This contest is for the British Welterweight Championship and Belt. Championship rules apply. 12 three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between, ladies and gentlemen, on my left and in the red corner, the challenger here this afternoon from Warrington, your kind appreciation, young David Smith! And in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Bradford, the British welterweight champion, Jimmy Brakes! And there's the British welterweight belt held by Jim Brakes, still after a rather controversial bout uh, a few months back, on, which you probably saw on television. More about that a little later. Young David, the challenger, Jim Brakes, the holder of the British welterweight title. Second out, first round. Right, here we are for the title of British Worldweight. Title and belt held by Jim Brakes, challenger Dave, David Smith, young David as he's known in the ring. And the next 12 rounds of three minutes each will tell us whether young David can get near it. The vastly experienced Jim Brakes against him. Jim Brakes... Uh, We nearly lost it a, a month or two ago, as you remember on television. Too young, David. Young David actually got the decision at the time, but uh, it was decided that Jim Brakes' trainer, Alan Dennison, who was on this bill earlier this afternoon, is in this hall, but of course he's not allowed anybody near the ring this time. But I'm sure he'll be there watching his protege, young David, right the way through this part from somewhere a long way from the rain. We will never know, of course, whether young David would have beaten Brakes uh, a month ago on, on that bout if it hadn't been for Alan Dennison distracting Brakes' attention, obviously intentionally, and that's why he's not allowed near the ring this time. Crowd, of course, all for the young fellow, only 17. 17 last November. Obviously, one of the up and coming stars of the future, this boy. Nicely out. Nicely. Don't get the chance to do it again. Quick head there by Brakes, but still in trouble with that hand. And it's the finger of the lock now that Young David's gone for with about 12 seconds left. In this first round. Way out to the bell and Brakes knew it. So as if the crowd here at uh, the Cliffs Pavilion went for this boy before it started, they certainly are now after that exhibition by Brakes out to the bell. There. Then David from Goldburn near Warrington. Thanks. Second out, round two. Round two, 11 to go, and no score. Two falls to the side, of course. Jim breaks in his usual striped trunks.
weight wise he's got a seven pound weight advantage over David and David can still uh, fight as a lightweight actually he's going up a weight for this title if he gets it Jim Brakes is right in the middle of the world of weight bracket 11 stone 7 young David at 11 stone <laughs> So fast. He breaks to make sure he doesn't do it again. surprised about that fingers under the nose as he pulled his hand back over the top of the head there. So Brakes might have something to say about that as he goes for the pull on grab it. as the kid manages a good bridge trying to get his feet underneath him to get the balance and he's got the height advantage if he gets up there and breaks using the bottom rope quite illegally so he causes the break and breaks will have none of that at all especially in a title bar Side headlock now to Brakes. No, no. 30 seconds to go. Round two. I bet you won't have it for a while. Brakes, one of his quick line, one line list to the crowd. You don't you trust your night, David, boy. That's on the red turn, right hold of the feet, turning his man right round, but he's only got three seconds. And Brakes taking his time on releasing this, accidentally pulling it against the joint as he releases it. Brakes temporarily fit the bit better on him again and spoil his chances, which so often happened before. He's got the title now, all he's got to do is to hold it. Second up, round three. Round three, time to go. Still no score. Breaks versus Young David. Breaks the attacking from the rear now on the headlock with the short hair cap. So he caught him beautifully on the way. Caught him perfectly, but he couldn't even avoid the ropes. And he's got it away from the ropes at the moment. Now, under the ropes, the referee won't allow it to continue. Break. Bad luck. Young David had him in trouble there for a minute. And Brakes won't even allow him to get up there. Foot of David's come across to try and cross the first the forearm. But yes, he broke the hold. Force breaks to leave, release the hold, but he really hasn't done any much good apart from that.